All right, hello everybody and welcome to the Obscure Toy Files. I'm your host, Chris Boglinegri, and today we are taking a look at uh, Tomy 1984, 1985 Tomy's Prehistorical Animals line, a part of their Tomy Time, <coughs> Tomy Time series of toys. This is a preschool Tomy product, but I always remember Tomy from when I was a kid, and this is about the same, I was about four or five when these came out. Now, there's no date on the actual packaging that says what year it is, but I looked it up online, and they, uh, Tomy filed a patent for the name Prehysterical Animals in 1984. So these probably came out in 1984 or 1985. And there's also no date on any of the bottoms of them. This is Tomy and Tomy China, and that's it. <laughs> Some of their products date things, but others don't. Now, Tomy's always been known to me as a company that's made really good products. They're still around today, and they, they really are well known for their wind-up toys, as far as I'm concerned. From when I was a kid, I have wind-up toys from 1984 to 1974, and they all work perfectly fine. Some of them eventually do, you know, the springs do break because they don't last forever, but if it's an original Tomy toy, it has the original Tomy logo on it, or it's from 1984, nine times out of ten, it's really good. So today we're just going to take a quick look at these because uh, me and my wife got this one for our niece this one we got for our son because we want to get him some you know some good quality toys and again tomy stuff makes a lot of really great things so the packaging is typical for tomy products at least from that time period for, as a part of their preschool line is you have like this uh wood border with like a slate it's supposed to look like um one of those old chalkboards used to have in like old 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 classrooms you have the you have the board and you'd be writing on it and stuff. That's why all the marks on it look like it's made in, in chalk. So they do a lot, and they keep this design aesthetic. I have a set from 1974, and I do this up until the 90s. So they really kept this design. So when you went into a store and you saw that, you knew what it was and you knew what to look for. But it's not a bad thing. This way you know the products are good and you know what to look. You go, oh, okay, it's a chalk thing. It's told me it's probably good. Now the prehistoric animals line only includes two characters. They include Dizzy Dino and Ramblin' Rhino. And Dizzy Dino, you push down on his head to make a move. And Ramblin' Rhino, you push down on this little yellow bird pterodactyl-looking thing on his back. And it makes a move. He's technically, I think, a tricerat uh, Triceratops, maybe? He's not really a rhino, but that's what they called him. In the back of the pack, it says, Tommy Time, preschool... Oh, Tommy Time, prehysterical animals. Watch Ramblin' Rhino and Dizzy Dino scoot across the floor. They love to race, so collect both. It's fun to watch him run. No batteries required. A push on a noggin gets these critters jogging. They always have to do rhymes and stuff in a lot of their packaging. His little hands are like, try me. Push, <laughs> push down the head and I zoom away. Or in this case, they wouldn't because it's in the box, but. Can't get anywhere, Rival Rhino. You are stuck there. Yeah, again, uh, no uh, date or anything for whatever reason. But they're cool little toys. And um, we got the other one, and they work pretty well. I mean, like, if you go like this, he's out of there. <laughs> you go, they go pretty, you know, pretty, pretty far distance. Like, if I do them off camera, yeah, they really move, too. <laughs> I mean, like, anything that gets in the way, it gets knocked over really quick. Like that little yellow, let's see if we get that thing. Oh, yeah. Dizzy Dino is like, I am one cool dino, man. And my eyes are stickers. So if you find me loose in the wild and I'm missing some pieces, it's because the kids peeled my stickers off. But they're really cool. I mean, his neck isn't really exactly where it should be on a dinosaur. It's more like in his back. But hey, I get, they need to do that for the uh, mechanic. But it works pretty well. I mean, it's got three wheels underneath. And you push it down. They spin pretty good. They got rubber treads on plastic wheels, so they got a nice grip. And it, it really is easy to do. A kid just has to walk over to it and just, you know, push down on the head, like you see. And then it goes off. So they're really fun. If you have the opportunity to find them, you, I got these off of eBay. The Ramblin' Rhino I got for about I think 10 $11 with shipping, and this guy was about probably the same. I mean, for toys that are over... 30 years old, I mean, it's not too bad. I mean, and they're good quality. Like, you could, you could probably smash the heck out of these things. It would probably break. But Tommy's always been known to me to make very good stuff. And we have the uh, Brown Camping Bear from 1974, and I got it loose when I was a kid. And the thing still winds up and works. So it, and I just got a new wind-up toy from uh, Winesies or something. like that. They licensed some of the molds from uh, Tommy. They didn't last nearly as long. They broke after a few minutes of play. 
So it really comes down to uh, knowing what stuff is good, and Tommy really makes good crap or products, sorry. And um, yeah, so that's about it. If you want to give these a check, go look them up on eBay. They don't go for a lot of money, and you might have some fun if you have some little kids that are ages two to six, according to the label. Colors and decorations may vary. I have not seen any variations on them, but it doesn't mean it doesn't exist. And yeah, this is Chris for the Obscure Toy Files, and we'll see you next time.